Um, I've heard you guys talk a little bit about uh, performance coaching. Do you want to give me um, a high level understanding of what performance coaching means? Um, yeah, I suppose I'll go first, Al, if that's okay. Um, for, yeah, for me, when when you're hearing so much about high performance and what, what does it look like, I think it's it, it, we made this point earlier in the show, and I think, Andrew, you were speaking about it, is that it's a combination of all the things. And I think the head coach has got to be of the understanding that there's a certain skill set that I have and I'm employing, let's say, Alan to be my strength and conditioning coach. So if Alan's giving me information um, and he's qualified and it's an authentic source, I should be able to take that on board and not feel in any way, oh, he's imposing his views on me or whatever it is. Likewise, with, let's say, a sports psychologist, if, if they're bringing them in, there has to be a level of understanding around what they're doing. Okay, you might not have the same skill set, but you have to have a level of regulation that you understand what it it is that they're bringing to your organization um, and all too often we see it where organizations might have a really good SSC, really good sports psych, really good physio and all of them there has to be intercommunication among them. I mean for, for me as a sports psych obviously speaking to, to players one, one to one is a fantastic thing to do and you, you sometimes you get really good information from it but actually the, the relationship between a sports psych and the physio is massive because if we think about even training that nurses get um, there was a study done in, in 2011 by a guy called Stickley in relation to how nurses Horses are meant to interact with patients and um, it's called the surety model but w one of the parts of it is actual physical touch and when when there's physical touch between people there's actually this human connection you know that's come through us through evolution and essentially what it's saying is people are probably a little bit more aware or they, they kind of let themselves go a little bit and they might you know say something and give information to a physio that you know they're sitting in a room or a sports like it might not necessarily happen so therefore the information that the physio is getting could be really important to the sports psych or to the head coach or whatever it is then again and this is where that intercommunication between all of these sub disciplines if that's there and the head coach understands it then for me that's providing a, a high performance uh, unit it's not necessarily to deal with oh we've spent three million euros up there and in Abbottstown, for example, and the facilities are fantastic. To me, high performance is that interconnection from the sub-disciplines, and then it's how the athletes feel when they're in that environment.